no one has killed in self-defense. Not one person has killed in self-defense June 3, 2011. Gun owners have been lying to us. Over 70 million gun owners claim they need a gun for self-defense and in the history of mankind no one has ever killed anyone in self-defense. The FBI does not even recognize the phrase self-defense. I just did a Google search to find out how many people are killed by gun owners in self-defense. The answer is none, not even one. There's no such thing. Every person who is killed with a gun, it is called a quote homicide, end quote. Gun owners are murderers. When a gun owner kills a burglar, sometimes but very few, it is called a justifiable homicide. There's only about four, three or four hundred a year of those so-called justifiable homicides in the United States every year. Joe Horn was not cleared of all charges. It was not a justifiable homicide. The grand jury decided there was not enough evidence to charge him with murder. Anytime more evidence comes available, Joe Horn can be charged and there's no statute of limitations on murder. The gun lobby has elected mafia bosses into positions of power like judges, prosecutors, the, pe the people who sit on the grand jury, and this is the only way people like Joe Horn can get away without being charged. The gun lobby's website said about 25,000 Americans each year commit suicide. But another website about 20, says about 25,000 homicides a year. The gun nuts are trying to label homicides as suicides. The way they figure it, these 25,000 murders in their criminally insane minds are, quote, self-defense, end quote, killings, in which gun owners get robbed but kill the robber and never call police or report it. So the police just find a dead body in a kind of hit and run where the gun owner shoots a robbery suspect and doesn't call police or ambulance and lets the person bleed to death. The gun owners are claiming this is begin quote self-defense end quote killings but to the FBI, police, the courts, the Constitution and normal Americans this is murder. It's the worst kind of murder because they let the person bleed to death. What this tells us is if we multiply 25,000 times 100 years, we get 25 million murders by so-called law-abiding gun owners who do not think of themselves as murderers, but as, quote, justifiable homiciders, end quote, who'd never been charged with murder because of lack of evidence. Most of these 25 million murderers are still alive and posting on YouTube. This is why my channel is getting attacked so much. One third of gun owners have actually killed someone and rationalized in their own criminally insane mind that it was self-defense and that they need a gun. The other two thirds must have either shot or wounded someone and rationalized in their own mind that this was begin quote self-defense end quote we are you know why are we letting these criminals run America the answer is people are afraid of being killed by these gun nuts this is why the million mom march isn't around anymore or at least their members want to remain secret the United States is run by murderers you know, I used to think there was such a thing as self-defense, but then when I found out the truth, it is called justifiable homicide, I realized there's no such thing as justifiable homicide. It's all criminally insane rationalization to find an excuse to murder someone. Capital punishment should be outlawed because our courts are not perfect, 
but if capital punishment should be outlawed, quote, justifiable homicide, end quote, should be outlawed quicker. Because that type of justice is even less justice than the present court system. Self-defense capital punishment is unconstitutional. April 19, 2012. The Constitution gives Americans a right to life. The Declaration of Independence says, a right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Absolutely nobody has a, quote, right to, to kill, end quote. Not in self-defense, not for capital punishment. And I'm surprised lawyers have not used this quote from the Declaration of Independence to abolish capital punishment. If Americans have a right to kill people in self-defense, then the accused has a right to kill the prosecutor, the judge, and the jury that is seeking the death penalty. He can kill them all and claim it was self-defense because they were seeking the death penalty and trying to kill him. There is no reason to kill. The second you rationalize a reason to kill someone, that makes you a murderer. Every single person who is in prison for murder has rationalized a good reason to kill. They were seeking the death penalty for Charles Manson even though he never killed anyone. They wanted, to, they wanted to kill him to shut him up. A mafia boss killed over 54 people. More than most of the well-known serial killers that we put to death. The, the mafia boss admitted to killing the 54 people and claimed it was just business. The mafia boss did not even get the death penalty. He had plenty of money for lawyers, and everyone agrees if you have enough money for lawyers, you will never get the death penalty. But poor people get the death penalty all the time. It's a conflict of interest. The government is seeking the death penalty against poor people, and then they are, pro and then they are providing the lawyer for the poor people. If the government is seeking the death penalty against me, I don't want the government to provide my lawyer. You know, I would rather represent myself. You cannot teach people that it's wrong to kill by killing people. Zimmerman has committed premeditated first degree murder. The second he purchased a lethal weapon showed he had intent to kill. He could have bought a stun gun. He could have purchased rubber bullets. He could have shot the victim in the leg or over his head. But he wanted to kill, and the proof of that was that he had lethal bullets in his gun, and he aimed to kill. Not to wound, not to scare. He shot to kill. You can argue that the Constitution gives you a right to bear arms, but the right to life says you cannot use lethal bullets.